Imagine being at the peak of your career only to be bombarded by accusations that question your identity and your place in your sport. Imin Khalif, a professional boxer from Algeria, faced just that after being accused of unfairly competing as a trans woman at the 2024 Olympics. While Imin was accused of being transgender, she actually suffers from hyperandrogenism, a condition that causes her to produce more testosterone. Imain, who previously failed a gender test due to a medical condition, fought her way to the top and secured a gold medal in the women's welterweight competition. Since everyone has been curious about Imain Khalif, from this so-called transvestigation she was under, to what she was like as a child, and even the new look she revealed after the Olympics, well, today we're going to look at her before and after transformation over the years. Imain Khalif is a professional boxer from Algeria who took home the gold medal in the women's welterweight boxing competition at the 2024 Summer Olympics. However, after her victory over Italy's Angela Carini, rumors about Imain's gender and eligibility started to circulate on social media. The Russian-led International Boxing Association had previously disqualified her from the 2023 Women's World Boxing Championships claiming that she failed a gender eligibility test. Now, this stirred up controversy, encouraging rumors that Imain was male. The International Olympic Committee and its Paris Boxing Unit, however, confirmed that Khalif was fully qualified to compete in the Olympics dismissing the IBA's decision. Several high-profile figures were quick to accuse Imain Khalif of being a trans woman unfairly competing in women's boxing. Even Elon Musk chimed in, targeting her with harsh criticism. Imain, a practicing Muslim and proud of her Arabic heritage, fought back through both legal and personal channels. She filed a lawsuit in France over the online harassment, targeting individuals like Musk who spread these rumors. However, it was soon clarified that Imain, who has faced nine losses in her international career, is biologically female. She had failed a previous gender test due to a medical condition. The 25-year-old athlete has spoken about her rise to the top of the boxing world, despite being told early on that the sport was only for men. Growing up in a conservative region of Algeria, where gender transitions and any other sexuality was legal, Imain's path to success wasn't easy. She had a difficult childhood, but a teacher recognized her natural physical qualities, and well, she encouraged her to pursue boxing. I've always loved football and played it in my village. My father preferred football over boxing, but my teacher saw something in me and pushed me towards boxing, and he was right, Imain recalled. Despite her skills, Imain faced a major setback in 2023 when she was banned from the World Championships for not meeting gender eligibility requirements. This happened while there was growing speculation surrounding her gender, which stems from her controversial medical condition. Imain's early journey to boxing was full of challenges. Coming from a poor background, she struggled to fund her training. She sold bread on the street and collected items to earn money for her boxing and her determination while well, it eventually paid off. She moved to Algeria's capital before embarking on a global career in the sport. But in 2023, Khalif faced another challenge due to her medical condition. This led to her and Taiwan's Lin Yu Ting being disqualified at last minute from the World Championships for failing to meet gender eligibility standards. Reflecting on that ban, Imain admitted, 2023 was a very difficult year for me after a great previous year. It was a hard blow, but I came back stronger to show the world what a determined and brave woman I am. Imain's opponent, Angela Carini, forfeited her Olympic dream after facing Khalif, admitting she feared for her safety. I couldn't carry on, Carini explained. I had pain in my nose from the first hit and I said stop. It could have been the fight of my life, but I had to protect myself. Despite the controversy, the International Olympic Committee defended its decision to allow Imain and other women previously disqualified from the World Championship to compete. While details of Amin's medical history remain unclear, it's said that she has XY chromosomes, which typically characterize males. 
However, it doesn't mean she's transgender. It's speculated she may have a condition known as differences in sex development, or DSD, a group of rare conditions where a person's physical development differs from what's expected of their assigned sex. Now let's talk about Emaine's post-Olympic makeover. In an effort to rebuild her image, she underwent a surprising makeover back in Algeria, showing herself with a more glamorous look. In a collab on Instagram with Beauty Code, Emaine showed off her makeover with longer, wavy hair. In the post, she transitioned from wearing blue boxing gear and red gloves to a flowery top, silver necklace, pink makeup, and her gold medal flashing a bright smile for the camera. The video highlighted not just a physical change, but a deeper message, that a woman's appearance does not define her strength. Beauty Code emphasized that Khalif, while feminine and elegant, doesn't need makeup or high heels in the ring. There, it's all about strategy, power, and precision. While many praised her new look, others argued she shouldn't feel pressured to look more feminine to please critics. One person on X wrote, she looks absolutely gorgeous and the internet owes her an apology. But it wasn't just Emain defending her own honor. Her father Omar also stepped up, calling the accusations immoral and unfair. He proudly showed an official document proving his daughter's gender identity and reminded everyone that Emaine had been passionate about sports since she was only six years old. He urged her to silence her critics by continuing to win in the ring, saying, prove them wrong and honor Algeria and all Arabic countries. Despite the controversy and personal attacks, Emaine Khalif has proven she's not just a fighter in the ring, but also in life. Her transformation since the Olympics has been physical and emotional, and she continues to inspire others with her strength and resilience. That wraps up our look into the before and after transformation of Emaine Khalif. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Kara, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.